Alright, so I'm now recording these two bald eagles right here. Yes, this is both the mother and the father. Uh, let me take a good guess that the mother is the one on the right. Based on the size. Alright. So if we zoom it in here. Oh, nope. Nope, that's actually the father. Okay. Alright, so if we turn into this one. Yeah, I can't see its talons from right there, but based on the fact that this bald eagle, which is being attacked by a red-winged blackbird, that blackbird right there, that one, which is kind of going off into the distance, but it'll be back. So it's bothering that one which actually is the one that doesn't really carry on quite as much as the mother does. Like I've heard the mother making lots of cries when it's being attacked, but the, the male, um, really the male just looks at it, doesn't really do anything much other than that. Although he did leave the, the stump or the bare branch only because he was just being bothered a little bit too much. And it was almost roosting time anyways. So yes, there's him and there's the other one right there. Yeah, so take a look at that, huh? This one's kind of preening down a little bit. Yeah, I can't really see him all too well, but... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, there we go. <laughs> There's the other one. Yeah, it doesn't really get any much better than that. Now, if I zoom out, okay, I'm actually joined by other photographers. Yes. That would be to my left. Those guys right there. So they actually happen to be looking through a very narrow um, part of the trees. Well, good luck to them. I'm pretty much just as close to these bald eagles as they are. Right here. But let's focus in on this one for now. It's always the question of which one we should look at. Should we look at the mother or should we look at the father? I mean, it doesn't really matter which one we look at, really. So there we go. So I'm all out of digital zoom. It's as far in as I can go, sadly. So yes, that's, that's really nice right there. Really nice close up if I do say so myself. See, so this is one of those very, very rare occasions when both bald eagles are together on the same bear branch. Uh, let me go get my stuff. All right, I'm back. Yeah, I left my camera bag and my lens cap and the bag that I hold my tripod in over on the other side where I thought I would get a good close up, but it's not quite as great as this spot right here. Oh, being attacked by a red winged blackbird yet again. So we're gonna zoom out here and looks like, now what do we got here? Which one's calling, is it this one? That one right there. Mm. So it's not this one that's being bothered. It's, a, it's probably this one.
Okay, so it looks like the red winged blackbirds went on their merry way. Or at least for now. Don't be bothering those bald eagles now, blackbirds. Don't be bothering. Don't be bothering. Yeah, I'm still looking out to see if there's any red winged blackbirds flying over them, but it doesn't look like there is. Maybe they got the message finally, who knows. Either way, I know they'll be back. Mm -hmm. Can't really go wrong with this. He is looking right at me. Oh my gosh. He is looking right at me. Directly at me. just amazing just such perfect detail this is why I love watching bald eagles every single day oh by the way um yesterday I didn't see any bald eagles um, neither of these eagles were on the bear branch and I couldn't see the nestling in the nest which means he was either hiding in the nest or he had already fledged and is elsewhere. Yeah, these bald eagles are doing pretty good right now. As you can see, he's got his beak open, which indicates that it's hot out here. So yeah, that's that's how you know that I'm probably hot too. Yeah, I, I am sweating a little bit right now. It's probably like in the 80s. 80 degree mark and it's uh, what time is it right now let me get the, the time the time is 637 I'm not gonna stay here all too long because I do have to go to work tomorrow early in the morning Good. Thanks. all right what's going on now here one of the eagles calling. It's not that one. Let me zoom in to this one here. Oh yeah, look at that baby. Oh, that's the hatchling, the nestling. The nestling's making that sound. Yeah, let me see if I can see its talons. No, he's still not turned around yet. Or her talons, rather. Because that's the mother. Yeah, look at that. 
me tilt that up a little bit. Yeah, that's as far as my digital zoom will go. For some reason, why, why does this bald eagle look smaller? I mean, I, I know this is the female. I, I know it has to be. The one that's banded is the female. I mean, she's been at the nest since 2008. This has to be the female. Maybe it just seems like this bald eagle's smaller. Yeah, I know I don't see the mother as often as the father. Which is why I'm seeing the, the mother come to the nest more often than the father. Because the father's usually the one that's here instead of at the nest. Alright, let me zoom back out so we can focus in on this one now. Yeah, so you can hear the eaglet calling in the background. Oh. Oh, there we go. There's a call from the father. Right? The father? Yeah. It's the father. Yeah, that bald eagle's looking great. <sighs> yeah. Huh? I'm actually recording, yeah. You can take a look if you want. Yeah, it's a very nice camera. It's a Nikon P900. Oh, okay, yeah. It's got 83x optical zoom on it. Oh, I'm a, I'm a beginner, so... So you can go and take a look at my screen. You can see it from right here. That's not even as far as it can go, too. It can zoom in even further than that. Oh, my gosh. And oh, that's, that's it. That's as far as I can wow, go. Look. Of course, it gets oh, very that's, difficult that's, at that zoom uh, level. It starts getting fuzzier. Did oh, you, no. No, no, no. Know? It's just, it's just, uh, it's just hard to keep it in frame that's because, that's beautiful. because you're dealing with such a small amount of surface area. <laughs> did you know they were here? Um, actually I did. I was just walking by and then I saw one bald eagle on the bare branch right there. And some, very rarely do I see both of them together. Yeah. I have I, seen them I both roosting. Them. I have seen them both roosting together. There was like one day I came like really late and like eight, eight o'clock or so. Uh -huh. They both, they both came like around the same time. And then, uh, sometimes the mother is there alone. And sometimes the father's there alone, yeah. but usually it's the father that's there more yeah. often. Is the nest further down? Because we saw an empty nest like around in in February. Winter. Yeah, we went here in February. There was a giant nest. It was a giant there. nest. We thought maybe it was all abandoned and dead abandoned, open. But, but no. Oh no, no, no! It's not abandoned. There, there is actually nestling in there. Oh, uh, there is. Okay. You probably when you came, it was too early. It was probably it was probably just the hiding eggs. in the nest. Sometimes yeah. they they crouch down, you know, so you can't really see see them. But there's only one nestling this year. Uh, they've been nesting there since 2015. Before 2015, they had a different nest, but that one got destroyed, you know, from the rain. And it was like in the in this vicinity. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we and it, like, the down, right? yeah. the mates a... are well. The 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 male is actually a newly mated um, mate. Yeah, because I know this because both of the bald eagles were banded back in 2008. So the, the female is over 11 years old. Oh, wow. And the father the had, family, and I guess she lost the new mate. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, unfortunately. Like so. Them. And they do mate for life, by yeah, the way. Yeah, they oh, do. There's a big family down on that island near the steel mill. There's a giant eagle's nest on that. I watched the, did you ever watch um, the, the Are you talking about the Columbus Flea Market? No, in the center of the river here. At the center of the river, there's another one? Yeah, there's an island, though. It's a, and you have to go there by boat. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. That'll be impossible yeah, for me yeah. to see that then. Yeah, me too. So it automatically, like, goes out of digital zoom when I try to record again. Um, 
Yeah, I've been here a lot. I've been here almost every day. I'm filming them. Oh, that's so cool. And I've been posting these videos on my YouTube channel. My Yoda Blast 061 YouTube channel. Yoda, I'm, I'm, sorry, I'll so just try you. to remember that. Yeah, Yoda Blast um, if Are you I'll, I'm gonna I'm gonna actually show you in just a second where where the nest is. There's only one good spot where you can see the nest. Unlike unlike where these two bald eagles are, there's like three different spots that are that are good at viewing them and and still getting good focus on the picture. But if you try like those other two spots, sometimes it gets a little blurry because there's uh, there's yeah, some shrubs and sometimes yeah. the camera wants to only focus in yes, on the shrubs. Thank you. And I was, I yeah. was struggling because I heard the noise and I was like, whoa, that sounds like something, right? And uh, he's like, I see one and I see two. And then we stopped and we went a little further down and then we saw you stop here and I go, I bet you he might have a better view. He looks like he knows what he's doing. <laughs> I do know what I'm doing. Yeah, I've, I've done this for about a month or so wow. here. All right, so I think what I'll do is I'm going to move my my equipment now, okay. and we're going to go over to the nest, all right? Okay, yeah. So, yeah, let me zoom out so I can... Yeah, this is a really nice camera right here. Yeah. All right, so here we go. Yeah, although I'm moving, I'm moving over to Georgia ah. in another week or so. Oh, wow. Totally yeah. Different life then. yeah, I'll probably be Georgia. able to see lots of raptors then. I, yeah. I love birds of prey. I love oh. hawks. Hawks, I love the most of all of them. Wow. Red-tailed hawks are my favorite bird. Wow. I rarely get to ever see any though because the last time I saw one was like maybe March or so. Mm -hmm. yeah, they, there was a lot of them during the winter time, but a lot of them don't live in this area. Yeah, yeah. On TV, a girl at work got me addicted to Decora out in uh, Idaho, Idaho, and they have a nesting and they have a camera right on the nesting. And there were so many gnats oh. that the two, the two babies tried to fledge early and they fell. Oh no! And then they they wind up getting them and then putting in putting in what they call sore, which is like a rehabilitation, and and then they'll let them out again. But uh, they both they um, both manage to do fine, right? You were watching those videos for a while. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's like and then I'm on on a group on Facebook that watches them all the time too, and it, and when they fled, like when they fell. Everybody was devastated and they kept wanting to know what's going on, what's going on, what's going on. And they're like, it's nature, it's nature, we'll help a little bit. But uh, we got to let nature be nature too, you know? Uh -huh. Exactly. <laughs> it was like, oh, a hawk or an owl's going to get to them. <laughs> yeah, did you know that owls actually steal other raptors' nests? Yes. Yeah, they do, unfortunately. I mean, sometimes they do get take abandoned nests, which is always a good thing, but uh -huh. sometimes they do get into fights. One good spot is here, although I've been struggling within the past couple weeks because for some reason the, the fledging usually likes to stay on like the left side of the tree and it's all covered by, uh -huh. by leaves. So that, that, I just want to let you know that that, that that could be a good spot okay. sometimes, but I haven't had any good luck right there. But the best spot is right here. Now, I do have to like lower the camera a little bit because as you can see, there is like a little uh, cave-in oh, yeah. trunk right here. So sometimes I can get away with having the camera out, but then, oh, and then you ha I, I have to that. lower this tripod here because it's very unstable since it's on a slight a slope. Okay, so. So let's see, that might be good. Yeah, so this is the nest, okay? So that's what the nest looks like, that huge, that huge brown thing right there that goes around, okay? So sometimes I see the eaglet and sometimes I don't. You know, it just depends. But you'd be able to see it like right with your own eyes. So like, 
Whoops. <laughs> that was a little thing. So you would see it like you would you don't even need a camera to see the bald eagle. Like like once I see it with my own eyes and I see that it's not there, then it's probably hiding in its nest. Uh. Yeah, so I'm going to go back over to the the other place where the two bald eagles are and yeah, try to get as much try to get as much footage as them as I possibly yeah, can. Yeah, thank you so much for showing us. Yeah. Oh yeah, no problem. Have a great day. Yes. Yeah, still don't see them or still don't see the bald eagle nestling. <sighs> Well, all right, I'm going to go back now. And my my phone's pressing all kinds of buttons cuz I've like have it like over my other phone. All right. All right, so I'm just going to keep going here until we get back to the nest here. Or not the nest, or I meant to say the bare branch. That's what I really meant to say. And there's bugs on my camera. <laughs> yes, it's not too bad out here right now. Not too hot. Great. Okay, so yes, both bald eagles are there. Okay, I see them both. All right. So we're just gonna head on down here so I can get a good view of them here. Just gotta keep on going. Here's a train. Train rolling. Got trains are rolling. Okay, so, all right, and yes, this is great. This is a great spot. All right, all right, and all we gotta do is tilt that. Then you'll get to see me zoom in on them. Yes, yeah, so there they both are, right there, both bald eagles. So which one should I look at right now? I think I'll look at this one right here. So not too bad so far. Yeah, so now you can see the band on her legs there. Yeah, that's as far as I can zoom in. Yeah, I'm almost thinking that this is the male that I, now that I think about it. Wonder what could have happened to the female if that's the male. Like it's got to be the female. It's just got to. It's just on a further branch. I couldn't have gotten it wrong this whole entire time, could I? Oh man. Oh yeah, so this 
Mostly preening. All right, and then we got the other one right there. Oh, gotta tilt that up a little bit. There we go, and start zooming in a little bit further. Yeah, so you can see they're both like uh, preening up the feathers on their chests a little bit. That's pretty unique. Oop, hang on a second. <laughs> I gotta do that here. So if I zoom out here and you take a look at the other bald eagle. So take a look at this way quick, um, since you're here. Um, you can see the bands on its talons. That's as far as I can zoom in. I can't zoom in any further than that. So on, I know you can't see it very well. Usually it's more visible like when they're not tucking their talons in. Mm -hmm. But that one's got a silver band and that talon right there, the one on the left, has a green band. Um, the green band is is a state band indicating that's from New Jersey. Okay. So you'll know because it's green. Okay, and the silver one is a federal band. Uh, so what, those are all the same color. At what point might they have put those on? Um, when they're in the nest, when they're in the nesting stage. So I'm sort of wondering if this is actually the male. I've been thinking this is the female this whole entire time, but if this was the male and the female was the one that he lost, you know, mm -hmm. then they wouldn't be returning to the same nest. Well, the female owns the nest? Because the female owns the nest, exactly, yeah. yeah. So I know this has got to be the female, it's got to. But it, but it seems smaller than the male. And as you may know, in the bird world, females are actually larger than males. Yeah, look at that picture you got going. I know, so he's looking, smaller one is she's looking right left. at us. Yeah. Oh, I saw another bird fly past them. Either that or it was just a fly or something on my camera. But they've been being attacked by red-winged blackbirds lately. You know, so what, what's been what, happening I've a lot? I've seen a couple of videos like of them chasing like online when you look at uh, different eagles that they're always like after them like you think the eagle just Yeah, they're not even doing anything yeah, to them. Yeah, yeah. Like, they're why saying, they have to bother they them? They can chomp them. Yeah. They just bother them just because they're birds of prey. Yeah, I guess they're a little cocky, right? The black bird. Yeah, it's usually when the eagles aren't there, I usually see one red-winged blackbird at the tippy top of that ah. bare branch. Not quite where that eagle is, but right at the tippy top. And I have seen the red-winged blackbird actually perch there while the bald eagles are there. Oh, wow. And it'll like, like a few seconds later, it'll start dive bombing one of them. And one of them is more temperamental. The one with the bands on its legs is more temperamental than the other one. It starts carrying on and starts uh, calling, making calls. And it just turns its head like crazy. But the other one's more calm. Mm. The male is more calm. Mm. You would think, I know the, the one, there's one on each, right? But you would think that they would figure out which one was a female and then banded either on the left or right indicating a female but it looks like New Jersey's got one side right the state and then the federal government's got another side of it. yeah there is um, writing on the, the bands but yeah. my camera is not powerful enough to yeah. actually yeah. Um, well, really show the it is. <laughs> to yeah. show the bands yeah. I would have to obviously be closer to these bald eagles which is impossible this is actually the closest that I could possibly be because there's a creek right there and beyond that, there's train tracks and a lake. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They're so interesting to watch and so cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you walk down those those high speed rail lines, the police would come and get right. So yeah. get real close. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, I'm satisfied with with this distance right here. Yeah, yeah. Got a good enough camera for that. This is this actually isn't the best camera on the market. There is actually a camera that's more powerful than this. Mm -hmm. It's called the Nikon P1000. The Nikon P1000 has 123x, I think, optical zoom, and that doesn't include the digital zoom. It's got even more digital zoom than that. This, what you're looking at right here, is 120 something x digital zoom. Wow. Did you ever go to like um, Bombay, Hook, and Delaware, and like Edwin Forest uh, ref Wild Refuge? Because they have all the water animals, and then sometimes they see eagles and stuff out there. That's cool. Yeah, so the ones out like in Galloway, New Jersey, which is probably about an hour from us, and then Bombay Hook is in Delaware, above Dover, Delaware, probably about two hours away. But if you ever get a chance, I know you said you're moving soon, but... Uh, yeah, I'm not going to be able to yeah, go squeeze over that there, in before you go. Yeah. <laughs> I got too much going on yeah. at the moment with moving and everything. I mean, I wanted what I really wanted to do is I wanted to try to go to New York City to see if I can find some red-tailed hawks uh, because they you they can get really close to people like they're very tolerant wow, over really? there. They even nest like right on people's balconies even. Wow! Wow! Could you imagine? Yeah. There's a place I mean, in Pennsylvania, it's, it's, but I, I don't know. We went there a few times. Uh, God, 20, 30 years ago, Hawk Mountain, but uh, it's a three hour trip. It's like one and a half to two hours one way mm -hmm. in Pennsylvania, um, past Lancaster, Hawk, Hawk Mountain. He's looking right at me. Well, which one was this again? The male or the female? I think this was the female, was it? Let me see. That one looks bigger, right? The one on the right. Yeah. Maybe it's just because it's higher up in the way. Yeah, I'm just a little concerned because why would the mates be coming back to the same nest if the mother's no longer alive? I mean, it's got to be the the uh, the male that she lost. So yeah, so as you can see, when I when I zoom it in digitally, you can see that this eagle looks bigger. Than the other. Yeah. Do you know if there was any in the nest that are growing up or not? In the There's only there was only one. I I actually I, the re the reason why I actually found the nest is somebody told me about it. Uh -huh. Somebody that was hiking here here told me about it. And in the winter, you can see it real good. <laughs> they they showed me exactly where to see the nest at, and so far that's been the only place that I've really been able to see the nest clearly. And the very first time that I saw the eaglet, he was eating something. And he was tossing something really big to the side because he was like pulling on it. It looked like it had fur on it. it looked like it could have been a rabbit. Oh, wow. I know there's lots of rabbits in this area. Yeah. So I guess it makes sense that they would catch one. They usually don't catch mammals. I mean, usually oh, they, fish. they catch fish, yeah. I mean, that explains why they're always, why they always hang out around lakes mm -hmm. and rivers, things like that.
Hopefully something will come out. <laughs> Thank you so much for all your help. Oh yeah. No problem. We're going to come back a lot. Yeah, now. <laughs> now that we saw some. Yeah, I'll try to come back here tomorrow at the same time. Okay, all right, yeah. cool. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, I saw Seagull just uh, flew past. All right, let's uh, let's zoom in on the other individual right here. Oh, let's do that. Yeah, so even though it looks like it's smaller, it's on a further branch, yeah. So def definitely it's because she's on a further branch would be why it's not quite as uh, noticeable. All right, so there you go. You see that she's looking more towards the nest than she is at anything else. Yeah, I do have to go to work tomorrow, so I want to try to you know, wrap this up. And that bald eagle is calling. I don't see any birds close to him. Or her, sorry. I meant to say her. Now there is a slight possibility that there could be boaters that are close to the nest. Yes, they can actually get close to the nest. And if they do, you know this bald eagle is going to protect the nest. And it's always the mother that does the protecting. So that's why she's the one that carries on when there's danger near. Yeah, not really much going on, so in the next five minutes, I'm going to go ahead and shut off the recording. And tomorrow, we'll get some more footage. So it was great to have that couple come over here and uh, tell me some things about bald eagles and other birds of prey. And I'm glad to educate them on everything that I know about them as well. I haven't really explained everything about them. Only because there's some things that I just don't want to explain. <laughs> it's not just about seeing them, it's about getting closer to them. I mean, you'll one day explain, or one day you'll know what that means. Alright, so before I wrap it up, in another four minutes and six seconds, 
I'm gonna go check on the nest. If there's no nestling there, I'm just gonna call it a night. But before I do that, let me um, zoom in on this bald eagle right here, the male. All right, this is the male bald eagle. And there we go. So this one's calling too. So they're both making some noise, huh? got to keep this in aligned here it's just sometimes it can get very difficult to Well, it's about as good as I'm going to get. Oh, got to tilt this up a little bit more. Oh, man. There we go. Okay, yeah. Yeah, this camera is a bit touchy. A bit of a sensitive camera. Yeah, sometimes these bald eagles just call for no apparent reason, really. I don't really see any birds or nothing flying over them, but... Even though on my side they don't seem close, on their side they may seem closer. Or they could be, like, underneath in an area where I can't see them. Alright, so let me go check on the nest. Well... One last time. All right, that's all the time I have for today. I'll be seeing ya. Until next time.